Hey everyone, I'm having fun today. I got a toy I'm playing with. This is the tube driver. Let you see it. By Tube Warps. Yeah, I, I guess this pedal's um, kind of old now. It's kind of a antique, a classic. It belongs to my neighbor. Uh, he uh, doesn't play the guitar that much. Matter of fact, he's selling his guitar. Um, but he let me have these, not have, but borrow these four uh, pedals. He didn't know if they work or not, so I told him, well, I'll give them a try and, you know, let you know which ones work, which ones don't. So anyway, um, the other three are, you know, pretty much uh, gives you like a distortion you know drive sound but this one here really does a good job at it because it actually has a a tube inside so normally I play clean and I like to play clean but um, it's been fun connecting this baby up and uh, playing some rock and roll on it now when you use this kind of pedal, the 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 uh, um, a lot of distortion. You don't play. Uh, we'll have all the flowers. You know, you know, folky type acoustic songs. You play rock and roll songs. So, um, the Beatles back in the USSR, which I'm working on, and I um, need to perfect it, but. cool and the the neat thing about playing with uh, distortion and drive and all that is uh, it covers up your mistakes when you play clean if you if your pinky hit on a string where it shouldn't be uh, you'll notice but on distortion it's all dirty and muddy <laughs> back in the USSR, which uh, you could definitely use distortion on that. sequence to uh, back in the USSR and you could look that up but uh, I'm playing it in the key of A and it starts off the intro is like down here. 
So if you if you know all your old chords, barred chords and open chords, you can do this. So, so you know, A that again A D C D whoops up and I'm using all down strokes you know it's just a driving Totally cover up your mistakes, you know, if they're too bad. <laughs> and then there, there's another part of the song, the bridge, they call it, okay, which I'm still perfecting. Um, but it, uh, with the, Ukraine, you know, the Beach Boy part, you know, woo, the Ukraine goes way out, they leave the West Coast behind a Moscow. So I'm, I'm still perfecting. Uh, trying to perfect that part, you know, get it down. Uh, I just concentrated on the uh, verse and chorus, so I, the bridge I have to work on. So distortion is cool. I like to work with clean, but um, I got a hold of this uh, tube driver, and I might buy it from him, but I have to first find out if there are replacement tubes for it because I don't want to buy it and um, the tube blows out and I can't find a replacement. I, I also have been working with this I brought many years ago back in the late 90s. This is uh, like a, a pod put out by Line 6 and you know this will give you distortion and everything else under the sun you know super cores, delay um, chorus, f flinger, rotary, um, you, you know all the effects. There's something called, I haven't got my glasses on, teal of whatever, compression, rotary, uh, but I don't use that that much. I just like to play clean with not a lot of bass. Uh, I, I usually put the treble a little bit more. I let that shine. Not enough where it will sound really tinny, okay? So, another song, uh, we'll just close it off with this one I'm working on because I was thinking, okay, I'm doing a distortion now with the, the distortion, the, the tube driver. And what rock songs would be good? Of course, you get the Stones. You know, I haven't um, perfected that. See, so, you know, so the Stone Satisfaction. Can definitely play with distortion. And another one is a uh, one of uh, Neil Young's more commercial song, but it play it has that distortion to it. A salmon girl and it goes. Like,
the intro, but I was playing the chorus part. <laughs> on that one too as well so um just want to make this short video okay I've been playing a lot of guitar I've been um, doing everything I can to protect myself and others uh, by not uh, uh, going out when I don't have to and dressing up in the full gear battle gear when I have to go out for, for provision we're starting to buy a little bit more online um, you know, I have the mask, the gloves, the the uh, uh, the hand sanitizer, um, everything. So. so I've been keeping myself at home a lot, working out in the yard. I live in a neighborhood that there's hardly any people out. You know. That's the way it is these days. Um, with so much available on TV, you, you, you don't see as many people out during the summertime or spring um, as they used to be. Um, you know, everyone's huddled in their houses uh, on the computer, watching Netflix or whatever, all the stuff available on TV. And you just hear the hum of air conditioning units. <laughs> Okay, uh, this ends this video. Uh, I want to kind of keep it short, so. Back in the USSR. The Beatles, one of my, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it was my favorite Beatle album because I don't have a favorite. I think their quality of work and, uh, and, and the, um, um, yeah, the quality of their work. It, it's you just can't pick a favorite. Yeah, you can have your standouts, but um, you know, if I said the White Album is my favorite Beatle album, and then. Oh, Rubber Soul, Revolver, you know, you just can't pick one. You know, I if I had to go on a uh, deserted island, I can only, I had power and a player on it, uh, and they told me I can pick, only pick five Beatle albums, that would be among them, okay? Uh, probably um, Hard Day's Night, maybe Help, definitely Revolver and... Um, uh, Re Revolver and Rubber Soul, um, The White Album, and Abbey Road. I know, that's six. I cheated. Okay, please leave a comment. Isn't this a beautiful guitar? <laughs>